This video is intended only to supplement the written installation instructions that accompanied your product, not to replace those installation instructions. The written installation instructions should be read and available to you before you attempt to install the product. If you have any questions about the instructions in this video, or are not comfortable performing the installation demonstrated, contact Manufacturer's Customer Service. When installing the dishwasher, be aware that the electrical supply for the appliance must be 120 volts at 60 Hz. A dedicated circuit is recommended. Warning! Electrical shock hazard. Disconnect electrical power at the fuse box or circuit breaker box before installing dishwasher. Failure to do so can result in death or electrical shock. In addition to shutting off the electrical supply, you should also confirm that the water supply valve is fully closed. Refer to the installation manual for a list of recommended tools and parts you may need. If you're replacing an existing dishwasher, confirm that the water and power supply connections are accessible and in the proper locations as illustrated in the installation manual. For wood countertops, we recommend applying moisture barrier tape to the underside of the countertop along the front edge of the counter. If this is a new installation, you will need to drill access holes in the cabinet for the electrical wiring, water supply line, and drain hose. Refer to the manual for hole size and location. Using copper wiring only, the power supply line can be direct wired, or you can power the appliance through a UL listed power cord. If installing with direct wire, route the power supply cable through the cabinet hole so the cable extends through the right side of the cabinet opening. Tape the cable to the floor to hold it in place when you position the dishwasher. Warning! Tip over hazard. Do not use dishwasher until completely installed. Do not push down on open door. Doing so can result in serious injury or cuts. Warning! Excessive weight hazard. Use two or more people to move and install dishwasher. Failure to do so can result in back or other injury. Tip the dishwasher back so it rests on its rear panel. You can set the appliance on a blanket or a large piece of cardboard to prevent floor damage. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, unthread the four mounting screws securing the toe kick panel and the inner access panel. Remove both panels and set them aside. Next, measure the height of the cabinet opening from the underside of the countertop to the floor. Extend the legs out from the dishwasher base, making sure the height of the appliance will be a quarter inch less than the cabinet opening. Use the locking nuts to secure the legs. Prepare the water supply line connection by applying thread seal tape to a 90 degree elbow fitting with 3 8 inch external threads. Thread the fitting into the dishwasher's water inlet valve until the fitting is snug. The opposite end of the elbow should be facing the rear of the appliance. If the dishwasher is to be powered through a power cord, you will now need to install or transfer the cord. Warning! Electrical shock hazard. Electrically ground dishwasher. Connect ground wire to green ground connector in terminal box. Do not use an extension cord. Failure to follow these instructions can result in death, fire, or electrical shock. Unthread the top screws securing the terminal box cover. Slide the cover to the right to remove and install a UL listed metallic strain relief. Make sure the strain relief screws are facing to the front and keep the screws loose.
Now route the power cord through the strain relief. You can secure the green grounding wire with the screw and nut, or cut the eyelid off and secure it to the existing grounding wire with an approved wire nut. If you connect the grounding wire with the screw and nut, you should insulate the existing grounding wire with electrical tape. Join the black wires together and secure them using an approved wire nut. Repeat this to secure the white wires. Be aware, a maximum of two wire connectors plus the one grounding connector are permitted in the terminal box. Tighten the strain relief screws to secure the cord. With the wires positioned inside the terminal box, realign the cover and rethread the screw to secure. Making sure the power cord does not come in contact with the motor or the lower portion of the tub, route the cord out the rear of the appliance, but don't plug it in at this time. Return the dishwasher to its upright position. Route the drain hose out the rear of the dishwasher and through the hole in the cabinet. If applicable, route the power cord through the appropriate cabinet hole as well. A water supply line should be connected to the home's hot water supply line in compliance with local codes and ordinances. Route the line out through a cabinet hole. You can place cardboard under the appliance to protect the floor as you gently slide the appliance into the cabinet until the four corners of the dishwasher door are flush with the cabinet doors. Remove the cardboard if applicable. You can now level the dishwasher by raising or lowering the front legs. Confirm that the appliance is evenly positioned in the cabinet. The built-in mounting brackets will allow the dishwasher to be mounted to the sides of the cabinet or to the countertop. The dishwasher should be side-mounted if the gap between the top of the door and the underside of the countertop is less than a quarter inch or the countertop is granite or another material that won't accept screws. When side mounting, first remove the plug buttons from the sides of the tub. We recommend drilling pilot holes for the mounting screws to avoid splitting the cabinet wood. The hole in the bracket can be used as a template for the pilot hole. Thread the Phillips flathead screws to secure the mounting brackets to the cabinet or countertop. If top mounting, confirm that the top of the door does not come in contact with the bracket screws. If applicable, reinstall the plug buttons at the sides of the tub. Warning! Electrical shock hazard. Electrically ground dishwasher. Connect ground wire to green ground connector in terminal box. Do not use an extension cord. Failure to follow these instructions can result in death, fire, or electrical shock. If the dishwasher is being powered through direct wiring, secure the power wires and grounding wire using approved wire nuts. Black wire to black wire, 
white wire to white wire, and the grounding wire to the green wire. Make sure the wiring cable is secured with the strain relief. Next, connect the water supply line to the inlet valve elbow fitting. The drain hose can be attached to a garbage disposer, drain pipe, or an air gap. If the connection diameter is less than one inch, you can trim the hose along the cutting lines to modify it to fit a three-quarter inch or a five-eighth inch diameter. If the disposer has not been used in conjunction with the dishwasher before, you will need to knock out the drain tube plug using a screwdriver and hammer. You can use needle nose pliers to remove the plug after knocking it through. Slide a retaining clamp onto the drain hose and attach the hose to the disposer or the drain pipe if applicable. The drain hose should be looped above the connection point. The connection point itself should be at least 20 inches from the kitchen floor. If the connection point is lower than 20 inches, or when required by code, an air gap must be used to prevent the drain water from siphoning back to the dishwasher. Warning! Electrical shock hazard. Plug into a grounded three-prong outlet. Do not remove ground prong. Do not use an adapter. Do not use an extension cord. Failure to follow these instructions can result in death, fire, or electrical shock. If applicable, plug the power cord into the outlet, turn on the power, and open the water supply valve. With the lower panels off, run the dishwasher to confirm the appliance is filling properly and there are no leaks. Complete the installation by placing the inner access panel behind the toe kick panel. Place the two panels against the frame and align the slots in the inner panel with the toe kick bracket screw holes. With the inner panel flush against the floor, thread and tighten the four mounting screws. The dishwasher should now be ready for use.